Emma poetic stem cells or HSCs, cells as stem cells that give rise to different types of blood cells, such as red blood cells, lymphocytes, platelets, monocytes, etc. Hematopoietic stem cell formation. For hematopoietic stem cells to fully develop within an embryo involves processes that derive from the yolk sac, the first structure seen during gestation, to the liver and then to the bone marrow, where it becomes a developed hematopoietic stem cell can, that can differentiate into a vast range of blood cells. The production of HSC starts with the hemangioblast. Hemangioblast formation begins when BMP, WNT, and notch signals activate the ETV2 transcription factor in plate mesoderm cells that are leaving the posterior primitive streak. The differentiation of hemangioblast depends on the notch signaling pathway. In the presence of notch signaling, hemangioblasts become blood cell precursors, but in the absence of notch signaling, hemangioblasts become endothelial cells that produce HSCs. The hemangioblasts then collect into groups to form blood islands around the embryo and the yolk sac. The cells in the centers of the blood island give rise to blood cells, while the outer cells develop into vessel endothelial cells and HSCs. After the formation of the primitive, or sometimes called the precursor hematopoietic stem cells in the blood island of the yolk sac, Hematopoietic stem cells form and move into the aorta gonad mesonephros region of the embryo or the AGM. The AGM is a region located in the embryonic mesoderm that is the primary location for definitive or sometimes called adult hematopoietic development. This region contains adult hematopoietic cells that will later form into the heart of the fetus. After the hematopoietic stem cells migrate in the AGM, precursor red blood cells start to flow in a bloodstream like fashion within the embryo. Why this occurs, the hematopoietic stem cells then migrate into the placenta. After this preliminary process involving the yolk sac, AGM, and placenta, hematopoietic stem cells can now migrate into the fetal liver. The next stage in the formation of hematopoietic stem cells is preceded by the formation of vascular connections between the fetal liver and the yolk sac, known as vitiline vessels. The immature hematopoietic stem cells travel from the yolk sac through the vitiline vein to the fetal liver. Hematopoietic stem cells also migrate from the spleen, but the fetal liver is the main hematopoietic organ in the fetus and is primarily where hematopoietic stem cells expand and differentiate. Hematopoietic progenitors also migrate from the placenta to the fetal liver. Hematopoietic stem cells circulating in the bloodstream migrate into the liver through a process called seeding. In the liver, no generation of new hematopoietic stem cells occurs but the hematopoietic stem cells that migrated from the placenta and yolk sac continue to differentiate and expand before migrating to the bone marrow. The final stage of fetal hematopoiesis occurs in the bone marrow. Before hematopoietic stem cells migrate into the bone marrow, mesenchymal progenitor cells differentiate into osteogenic cells to prepare the microenvironment needed for hematopoietic stem cells to survive in the bone marrow. 
Once there is a suitable environment for hematopoietic stem cell expansion, the HSCs from the fetal liver travel through the bloodstream to the bone marrow. In the bone marrow, angiopoietin signaling is responsible for the adherence, quiescence, and survival of hematopoietic stem cells. Osteoblasts have been identified as niche cells for hematopoietic stem cells. Hematopoietic stem cells continue to expand in the bone marrow post-birth and self-renew in adult bone marrow.